How's it going, bros? Yeah, I know I don't usually start it right here at the kind of menu going towards multiplayer, but I just felt like doing it. And I know most of you don't really care if I make videos, but I still have like maybe 10 or so subscribers that still watch some of my videos, like right when they get published, so. And then eventually everyone else would start watching it. But, so I haven't really been making videos, first of all, because uh, it's getting kind of close to school, like the beginning of school, you guys know that. And I'm still waiting for my letter, like telling me what my uniform colors are, like to make sure what, what they are, when I start school, what class I go to first, all that stuff, any like stuff I need for school, all that, because I don't know. I'm going to a different school than my brother's than my brother's going to, so that's they could. There's different uniforms. I know that. There's different teachers. There's different rooms because I'm going to two schools, not one, and he's only going to one. Also, it's like maybe three forty-eight. I usually won't start a video this late, but. Another reason why I haven't really been publishing any videos. Wait, first of all, you might have noticed that I always yawn in like the past like two videos that I've been making and they haven't had like the intro and the outro and stuff. It's because I'm suffering from like insomnia, which is like a sleeping disorder, which it's basically you either can't sleep or you can't stay asleep. As in, like, you try to go to sleep, you'll end up, like, staying awake. Even though, as much as you want to be asleep, you, like, say you're yawning and you're, like, really, really tired. Wow, that was actually really good. You're, like, really, really tired and you try to go to sleep, but you can't. You just, like, you just stay awake. Even though you'll think you're you'll think you're asleep, but you're not. Or for me, in my case, I'll be really t well. I'll be like wide awake at midnight. I'll be like wide awake at midnight, and then once like seven o'clock in the morning hits, I'll fall asleep until like three, four o'clock. So right now, for me, I just woke up and. The camera angle is kind of fucked up because uh, I kind of just threw the camera there and hoped it'll cover most of the screen because I want to get this out before I fall asleep again. Because um, I always fall asleep like mad early. Like I try to go to sleep and it's been getting worse. Like basically. It's insomnia is caused by like stress and like you, school is starting, so obviously I know it's stress, so I don't need to tell all the other symptoms. But I'm stressing because I, do, I don't have my letter yet from school, and and it's cutting it kind of close to the beginning of the school year, which is in like maybe a week and like four days, seven, eleven days. This sounds like a freaking bad Freddy Krueger movie, because Freddy Krueger usually comes out when someone has insomnia, but whatever. I don't care. Freddy Krueger, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck. And my controller's been fucking up, too. Shit. Yeah, it's been fucking up. Really, really bad. Also, um, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm just going to leave, because my controller's fucking up. If you guys didn't notice, um, we've been trying to do the Easter eggs, and finally, finally, since I can't sleep at, at night, we were up <sighs> doing the buried Easter egg, and guess what, bros? We fucking did it. I will prove to you that we did it. That's why I'm going to zombies right now, if you didn't see that. Um, so... Our plan is do buried, which we did. 
Um, cause we needed the nav card anyway, so we were. I was. I got the nav card, and then I was trying to. I was like, all right, fine, fuck it. Let me put my diarized nav card in the in the buried nav card table, and then I went to transit. We were now we're just trying to do the transit one, which I know all the steps to Rick Tuff inside. So that's easy. If I get freaking PB back in here and someone else, maybe Ruben or something. Oh, uh, yeah. That's how much we were. That's how much we were uh, doing that Easter egg that I got blue eyes. I was at like level one skull, like skull, like level three point one basically I count the lines as points level 3.1 level 3 means like the skull now I'm at skull with blue eyes level 5 Le level 3.5 god so when you could take control of a tower this is what it shows Ugh, I can't do it there when you take control of a tower it does it here what 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 I took control of you. What? But anyway, we did take control of this tower for buried. I'll show you the trophy, but because for some reason it's supposed to be lighting up blue, and I'm not sure why it's not doing it. Oh my god, this is gonna be really hard to show you the thing if my control is fucking up. But yeah, um, I've been suffering from insomnia and I be, I'll fall asleep from like 7 in the morning or so to like 3, 6 o'clock. So I, this is one of the days that I woke up earlier. That I woke up early and it's kind of been getting worse as in I can almost fall asleep. Like I'll, now I'll be... It'll be like maybe 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I'll be trying to go to sleep. I'll think... Oh. I'll think that I fell asleep. Like, you'll think you're dreaming, and then you'll hear, like, stuff, like... Basically, like, daydreaming at night. I don't know. But for me, I was watching TV, trying to fall asleep, because that's what I do. I was watching TV trying to fall asleep and then all of a sudden I'm in my like old classroom with all my friends all of a sudden I like I see them they're all laughing all of a sudden it takes me back to my room and then I hear someone talking like the TV's off no one else like everyone else is asleep I hear someone talking all of a sudden I don't know what it said and then I wake up I look around the room, like frantically, like scared basically, seeing if anyone's near me or anything is on to make the, to be talking, but it wasn't. And I was really scared. And this trophy is going to take a long ass fucking time to load. But it says mazed game. <sighs> it says mazed games when you get the trophy what you do is you just like I'm gonna say this really fast since I only have like two minutes three, one minute basically what you got to do is you need paralyzer time bomb you get the paralyzer you shoot all the orbs while someone builds the guillotine you get you could like buy all four perks first and whatever and then once you shoot the guillotine and you I mean shoot the guillotine once you make the guillotine and shoot all the orbs, make them white, basically like freeze them. The lantern is gonna pop up. You throw, a, you chuck a grenade at it. Once the grenade explodes on the lantern, it goes down. You pick it up. You go into the witch's house. You kill a couple witches. You place it on top of, like the side where the, the where the guillotine is, but like not at the saloon, but where the bank is, where to get the chalk. That top part, like near Mule Kick. You place it down, you decipher the code, it'll be like 1.1, 1.7, 1.10, something like that. You go inside of the maze, you get the galvanacles, you punch this, you punch three signs, then a, then the spire or the wisp, whatever you want to call it, comes out. The spi I, I call this one the spire for Riptop and the wisp that walks, that one. 
I call this one the spire because it teleports. So it teleports, you have to know where it teleports and have people set up at, e at each position. So one person covers two spots to teleport to, the other one covers two, the other one covers two, and the other one covers the last spot and the guillotine. Basically the power station and the guillotine, because that's where it usually teleports to at the end. Once you do that, you get you end the round, have the spire supercharge ten zombies. I mean five zombies, like basically it'll go inside one zombie, make it glow blue. You kill that, it'll come back, then go to another. Do that five times. And then leave one zombie, you have time bomb. So everyone gets close enough to the guillotine. You throw down the time bomb fast and press R1 once it hits the table of the guillotine so that you can travel to round infinity. On round infinity, you go, you get some bodies and like there's dead bodies all over the floor. You can't kill a zombie, so they're not zombie bodies. You'll see a dead body on the floor. You search it and look for the, the lever. Like if you, if you remember back at transit, you had to find a lever to turn on the power, that. There's like 10 spots the bodies could spawn, so you gotta keep looking. Um, and it would say lever found. If you get downed, don't worry. The thing would revive you. Wow, that was fast. Well, that wasn't fast, but that just like shot from like 27 to 100. Oh yeah, I've been playing The Walking Dead. Like, part one though, not anything else. Um, once you get the lever, you build it on, then you go towards the maze. There's supposed to be four walls around the map and those walls have levers on them you have to pull the lever and <clears throat> and uh... okay open a door without spending points what how is that possible Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to be looking for it. Uh, it should be... In Buried Rewrite History. Revolutionized Historian. That's the Easter Egg 1. Rewriting History is because... You're supposed to let Maxis win, because Maxis thing is the main story mode. Richtofen's isn't. We let Richtofen win. Control of this tower, basically. Return to processing. I don't know what that means. Oh, I almost got that one. Um, I, I gotta do that one. I wanna get all these trophies. But anyway, once you... Where the fuck was I? And who's in here? Ew. Ew. Anyway. Once you get the lever, there's like four lever- Like the walls that are in the maze. On one side of those, which means you need the paralyzer to shoot over and get them. The walls of those have four switches. Red, blue, green, yellow. Alright? You have to pull a switch and stare at it for like four seconds and see if it's sparked. If it's sparked, that's its position in the thing. It'll most like, for us, it was red, green, blue, red, yellow, blue, green, because green was last. Usually the last one is the first one you find that sparks, basically, whatever you use last. Before, like the first time we tried it was blue, then the next time we tried it was green, so... I mean, like, different days trying to do the Easter egg, not the same day, because that would be weird. And then once you pull it in the same, in the correct order, you go to the fountain in the middle, like, where the witch's house, the candy store, and the, like, that side. You go to that fountain, you hold square at it, it'll say make a wish. There's four positions you gotta stand at. One position in the saloon, there's gonna be maybe, like, 22 targets. One position in, like, over by the mission box, like, you basically have to stand... You have basically have to stand inside of the giant hole in the wall at, at the barn. And then you'll see like maybe like 20, 20 sharpshooter kind of things. You have to, but whatever. And then there's another one at the witch's house and then another one in the middle where the candy shop is. So you have to learn those where those targets are going to pop up and 
you've got to make sure you count them all out correctly because there's different things like one of them has 23 one has 22 one has 21 and one has 19 i think one has 20 and one has 19 and once you do all that correctly like basically when someone misses say you missed because if not you're gonna waste ammo make sure you got the pdw that shit is so accurate and stuff and it has a good clip if you shoot one bullet at each target they'll all fall and you won't waste that much ammo which is what i did and uh once everyone hits all the targets that one tr basically keep have a crawler have leroy hold the crawler which is like give him candy and circle around the crawler like run around the crawler so that leroy picks it up like a baby and unless someone shoots him or knifes him he will not drop that crawler or kill it he'll keep it with him but whoever gives him the candy he'll stay next to so that person has to be careful with when they're shooting the targets also the witch's house good tip have the lights on so that you could see all the targets um i think that's it once you do that you'll get all the perks and then you could go to the courthouse there's gonna be like blue lights and stuff anyway i'll see you guys later see you guys i know you will